Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is not really uh, so special day. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I think no camera's not. Anyways, my hand hurts when I go like this, so my uh, right hand is kind of out of commission for now. So as to speak, I still have to go and push through it. It hurts. But, hopefully, my hand gets better in the next little bit, because it's cracking due to it being dry. But anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Today is actually going to be another review. This entire week is just going to be review, so let's just get that right out of the way here. A uh, couple of other things of announcement. I hit 20 subscribers, only took almost two years or it has been two years, one of the two. But anyways, we finally hit that milestone. We're here now. Um, and then I also have a video planned with Jared. That's going to be coming up next week, as well as the food versus food video that is scheduled for next week as well. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about, and this is pretty much giving away all the videos for next week, so this is pretty much what to expect. I'm going to do a, another video on net neutrality. Some people were asking questions, and I want to answer them. There is a couple of people that were pissed off the last poem that I did, so that got two dislikes. But other than that, we're going to drop straight into the view as soon as a review right now so anyways this is transformers the last night review so first half spoiler free second half obviously spoilers we know the drill i've done this before i've also said this before so let's pretty much just jump right into it and i know this video is long overdue but i actually just finished watching the movie last night and the video's been out for a while, while well, the film has been out for a while. So, anyways, first thoughts, well, it's Transformers directed by Michael Bay, so... Yeah, that, that's the first impression that I got. Um, certain parts are funny, other parts are awkward. Um, there was a couple of moments um, that they kind of spoiled them they kind of spoiled the movies inside of the movie if that makes any sense they kind of spoiled the next movie within this movie that's what I'm trying to say but the soundtrack is good the references are real in that so there's a lot of references and hidden things within the film if you have a keen eye you can see that and then see some of the editorial mistakes and man there was a few not as much as there could have been but the cars were nice the dialogue was meh sound effects were good um for the most part should you go out and watch this movie if you're a transformers fan i'm gonna say if you're a hardcore one Probably not, but if you're one that likes the movies, go for it. Personally, I like action-based films, but this one just seemed a little too much. Just kind of like crank, if anybody gets the meaning of that. Uh, <laughs> so, it had some elements that were really great. had some elements that were head-scratching and other parts that just generally didn't make any sense to the plot line. So, review for the people that just want to get the hell out of here now, so they've already watched five minutes. So, we've got the roundup. I didn't actually edit that part in. Anyways, we're going to just go and say it right now. I rate this movie a 8.3. It's not amazing. It's not good. 
Well, it's not great. It's just good. That's pretty much all I can say about it. It's good. It's not great. It's not amazing. It's not fantastic. But the best thing I've ever seen in my life. But it's definitely there. So, to the spoiler section. We have a few instances of characters not making any sense. For example, when Bumblebee got his voice back. What the mm -mm, happened the rest of the series? He got his voice in the first movie back at the very end. Then all of a sudden, second movie, he lost it again. Now this one, he's speaking perfectly fine. And then they're like, oh, guess what? Now he knows how to control his voice box. And he couldn't do that how many movies ago? And he can now? Really? Uh, they spoiled Cybertron coming to Earth early on in the film. Now that part was kind of expected, but the Unicron spoiler at the end? Really? Really? I was kind of expecting Unicron to show up in this one, and then they're like, nope, Cybertron's coming to Earth. <laughs> and then Unicron reference at the very end, I can tell you how to kill him. <laughs> really? So now we know the next film, hopefully without Michael Bay, is introducing Unicron. But the only good one that Michael Bay has made thus far that wasn't just good because it was funny was the first one. The first one was the darkest one of the series. It was the best one of the series. Mojo was a drug, not a dog. <sighs> I, I don't understand half this time. So... The thing that really baffled me is why were they going high extensive on detail in certain parts and then near the very end of the movie it's like, oh, no, budgets got cut, funds got cut. We're going to make it look like they never took any damage during the middle of the war and Bumblebee is just going to look like he just got a fresh coat of new paint and just came straight out of the animator. They didn't animate properly at the very last half of the movie. They did it at the first half. Last half, they just kind of got lazy. So it's like, eh, I don't understand. You went hard here, and then you're like, eh, I'm tired. Click. So, anyways, that's all I'm going to do for the review right now. I'm tired. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So yeah, um, Jared, when he comes, is going to be raging as per usual because of him. I personally think it's because he doesn't have a hockey stick in his hand. Thank God. And number two is he still hasn't found Tim's. Which reminds me, the Jared Quest for Tim series is not happening until later on. Um, at this point, it's kind of just postponed. He He's not going on the adventure yet. It's going to be a while before he does. Uh, mainly because he's an idiot. He's probably going to watch this video too, so... Anyways, I hope you're having a fantastic 2017, and if you're not, I hope the last stretch of it gets better for you. Peace.